Do you know that air can crush things? You do not believe me. Let me show you. Take some boiling water and pour it into a plastic bottle using a funnel. Do not fill it completely, just a little less than half the bottle. Cap it tightly. Now pour cold water over the bottle and watch it get crushed. What happened here? When the boiling hot water was poured into the bottle, the steam pushed some of the air out. At the same time, the air above the water surface was heated and hence expanded. This also pushed some of the air out and the amount of air inside the bottle reduced. Then when we capped the bottle, the air could not enter back in. Finally, when we poured cold water over the bottle, the steam condensed to water and the air cooled and contracted. This led to lowering of air pressure inside the bottle. As the air pressure inside the bottle fell significantly below the pressure exerted by the air on the outside, the walls crashed in. Air in the pneumatic tires in our bicycle or cars exert pressure on the walls of the tires from inside. This introduces cushioning effect and thus absorbs the shocks generated due to rough texture of the road. Ride a bicycle up a slope using a tire filled with air and ride up the same slope without air in the tires. Can you feel the difference? That is the difference made by the air pressure.